Online Store Romance Special Report. The Kindle came. It's here. They sent it a day early because Jeff Bezos is my best friend. Anyway, we're going to do a little unboxing and see what some of the new features are and hopefully get you guys all excited to buy one. So let's take a look. And because we never do anything officially, we have the official Dime Store Romance pen that we're going to use to tear open the tape. Come on, admit it. This is how everybody opens their stuff. Nobody actually uses a letter opener anymore. Wow, and this is basically nailed shut and is breaking the pen, so we might actually have to get something a little more substantial to get this puppy open, but we'll see what we can do. Is it going to come open? No, it is absolutely positively glued shut. They apparently wanted to make sure that it got here in one piece, so hold on just a sec and we will get something else to open it with. Right? So the pen was not working. In fact, the pen is basically dead now. So we're in going this case, to use the sword is mightier than the pen. Yes. Yes, the butter knife is going to be our sword. So we're going to see if we can crack this puppy open. We make sure that you're actually seeing this. This is apparently why they wanted you to buy the two-year warranty, because when you open the thing, you probably crush it to death. That's all right. Not classy. They were not kidding around when they glued this thing shut, man. They wanted to make sure the postman didn't get any crazy ideas and uh, try to run off with it. So you ready? Oh, look at that. What is it, actually? It comes in a box. It comes in its very own, oh, cardboard box. Okay. So it's box within a box. That's all right. And you can't really see it, but I had to get a close in on that. The Amazon Kindle, the Kindle 2. I am extremely excited about this. Evening. Haha. Ha. Once upon a time. Sweet. Eddie, once upon a time, Ed made me very, very happy by saying we wouldn't have to share one. And he'd buy me my very own because he doesn't want to read my crappy stuff and I don't want to read his crappy stuff. Even though we can share on the rare occasion when we actually are reading the same thing. And here it is. The Kindle 2. Very, very exciting. Oh, oh, it's doing the camera work. It's kind of like a Ouija board. He's just, what? What did you do? Uh-oh. He touched it first. It's kind of like when you stick your feet in the front of the car and you say that you've been into that state before anybody else is on the road trip with you. Okay. Ready? How ridiculous is that? Anybody who remembers the Kindle, the original Kindle, not the Kindle one, remembers that... It was shaped like a paperback book in that it was very thick and clunky. So they've definitely made some improvements as, you know, anybody who's been on Amazon has seen from their pictures. And Ed is comparing it to his iPhone and giving me stuff on what to do. <laughs> this could be the root cause of some of our problems. <laughs> Dime store not so romantic. So, we, uh, apparently it says uh, step two is slide and release the power switch above. But first I'm going to peel off the plastic. Oh, this is always the best part. <laughs> Alright, so, step two, slide and release the power switch above. Your screen will refresh in a few moments. Everybody ready for this? Anything yet? I think it... Is confused, but oh, there we go! Yay! There you go. <coughs> Excellent. So our Kindle is now oh loading, God. apparently, and just the first look at the e-ink is absolutely incredible. It doesn't even look real. Yeah, yeah. It it looks like it was a pasted on picture, like you usually get with the five dollar alarm clock, um, and then you peel it off and realize that the actual display is crap. That's how they always get you. Um, a little known fact, actually the company that developed Electronic Ink is based right here in Massachusetts in Cambridge. 
Uh, I believe the company's name is actually Electronic Inc. They do a bunch of different stuff, but this is now obviously their claim to fame because they're going to really usher in the digital revolution. And it brings us right to the user guide. Um, another thing that was kind of cool, uh, Amazon gave everybody a first crack at their user guide and their quick startup guide. They put it up on Amazon.com and they leaked it to Engadget. So Engadget had the scoop on that. And um, I did a little reading today, but I'm going to be playing with it, obviously, a little more now that it's actually here and in my hands. And um, we'll be back to you in just a second.